Well, good morning. Welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I am Steve Smith. Uh, yeah, as you probably already saw by what I think I'm going to title this, I want to talk about the collapse of the world. <laughs> I'm just going to have a little chat about it with you. Excuse me while I arrange some things here. Uh, because it's Saturday morning, and even though the world is collapsing, uh, I'm not going to let it ruin the peace of my Saturday morning where I sit and drink coffee and wait for the rest of the family to kind of get up and moving around. But it doesn't mean that it's not serious. It's extremely serious. Um, got, a, uh, got a message uh, from one of our patrons, Bruce. And it was a a video from Weon, which is what is it? What is it? what is? It? I have subscribed to it. Um, World is one news. I believe it's out of India. It covers it covers news in India, Pakistan, China, South Asia, uh, places like that. Um, and it's about the collapse that's going on in China right now. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the rest of the world. I want to talk about how it affects us here. And it is something that that more people ought to be aware of and keep track of uh, because the, the, the greater world does affect us. Uh, before I get that, um, I got a, a, an email from a friend of mine this morning that said, uh, and what is the name? I've put this up again over on Patreon for anybody that wants who's over there. If you're over there, you get these things. Um, if you're not, the link's down below. You can come join us over there. Um, <clears throat> what is the name of it? Rocky Brass, I think, is, is the name of the company. It, it's an aftermarket parts company for apparently Glocks and maybe other things. I'm not sure. I am not a person. I don't know about this stuff very much because I am not a person who... who does much to to my firearms I buy them and then I use them simple as that I, I I don't I don't mess with them much I get I get firearms that I know work and then I I either well I don't mess with them after that uh, but anyway he put that he put it up that uh, that they have announced they're going out of business and um, because of so many things um, and, and they pretty much explain it that if they don't have you know without support of financial institutions we know where this is coming from right and all of the restrictions uh, coming down the road it's making them just impossible for them to continue business and um, and so they're going out of business so you can you can either see that you can get the the link I think over on on patreon I think I put it over there or just go to Rocky Brass if you're into that. So that's that's that. So back to the story out of China. It was a good story. I used to live in a previous life before I changed my life and uh, and began a repursuit of my own peace. <laughs> I used to live a life that. Uh, in, in which keeping daily track of international news was very important, and uh, there was a reason for that because we we don't uh, we don't re the average person I say the average person doesn't realize how much what goes on in the world affects them uh, on a daily basis and and the 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 great upheavals around the world, um, you know, they they dribble down. You know, until they have small effects, small effects, small effects, small effects on, on the individual life. And then all of a sudden, it's kind of like that old saying, and I forget who said it. Uh, somebody asked, how, how did you go bankrupt? And they said, slowly at first and then all at once. Well, that's kind of what happens with, with the world situation, world economies, world... Uh, um, I almost got into something that I shouldn't. Um, the world situation. I'll just put it that way. Um, 
and we, we, we see these small little things that it, it's easy to discount and say, well, that doesn't affect me. Oh, well, that's, the, you know, that's over there on the other side of the world. That's, that's not, you know, I don't care about that. What I care about is right here. Uh, not realizing that what's right here is affected by what goes wrong around the rest of the world. Um, and so this story out of China um, was about their drought. Now we know, or, or, or I think most, if well, many, if not most people know, that China is going through a great crisis, uh, even worse than ours. They're going through a financial crisis. They're going through a housing crisis. They're going through an energy crisis. Uh, the the lead up to the story that, and I I have put this over on Patreon. The lead up to this story shows Shanghai almost blacked out. Now I've never been to Shanghai. I always kind of wanted to go, to be honest. I'm not going to go over there now. Um, <clears throat> But, uh, you know, Shanghai, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, from pictures that I've seen and people that I've known who have been there who have told me, it says, like, you know, at, at night it's almost like daylight, all the lights over there. Well, it looks dark, and they, they have pictures. They have news stories uh, showing office workers. Uh, the drought is so bad. Uh, I think they said 66 rivers in 34 provinces have almost completely dried up because of their drought a lot of course a lot of their power comes from hydroelectric plants they need water if they don't have the water it's kind of like what's happening out on, on the colorado river you know um if or, or lake mead i'm sorry um if, if they don't have the water they're not going to have the power if it drops below a certain level well that's happening in china and so they were they were talking about and they're showing pictures of on offices in china to where people are sitting around in rooms uh, they don't run the lights in the buildings they don't run air conditioning um, they they only provide uh, power to the computers that the people are working on and they're bringing in big blocks of ice to put in the rooms to help cool, keep the people cool because they're not running the air conditioning because they simply don't have the power. Uh, you know, if we couple that with, with what we see going on in, you know, Ukraine, when we see what's happening with the droughts here, we've got droughts in Europe, droughts here, what are, which are causing, you know, uh, uh, look what's happening with the power grid out in California. Everybody who went out and tried to be good little libtards you know are good doobies and buying their electric vehicles uh now they're saying don't plug in your vehicle because we don't have the electricity for it the collapse that we have talked about here um, is essentially becoming worldwide and when that happens it can cause a collapse that is far beyond what anybody has, well, pretty much anybody, except those people who sit around in offices and think about these things all the time. And there are those. And they've planned for this, believe me. Uh, and they've made plans to better themselves as a result of this. And you should, too. I mean, you can. We're going to get to that in a minute. Um, so when, when we see that, when we see the collapse here, when we see the collapse in Europe, when we see the collapse in China, when we see the collapse, you know, so many places around the world, it becomes a collapse that's almost impossible to solve. Now, are, 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 these, are these things the, the result of, of uh, natural occurrences, you know, or are they des by design? Now, now, I don't, you know, you can argue this one way or the other, I don't know. Uh, whether droughts are, are man-made. I mean, we know all about I haven't seen a chemtrail uh, here all year long, and it's the driest season that we've had. Okay. Uh, do, the, uh, do the two go together? Hey, you, like Paul Harrell says, you be the judge. It would be, so, so when we see all these things coming together, oh, I'm sorry, backing up. Whether they are uh, natural occurrences, whether they are man-made, uh, doesn't really matter. It doesn't. What's happening and its effect on you 
is what matters and then what you should do about it you know is, is pretty much the same now is is there there's a third there is a third uh, possibility and and that is it is God's hand in this but I, I mean God's active hand I don't discount that at all I don't um, and I won't get into the religious reasons for that now but if if God's hand is in this that's an entirely different ball game maybe I'll talk about that on a separate one but I don't want to mix that up in here um, whatever it is it is beyond your ability or my ability to change it but what is within our ability to decide how we deal with it um, in my this might be good in in my first book the reversion I'll have to put on my my specs to read this I should know this by heart and I pretty much do but since it's written down I ought to read it uh, on the back on the back of the cover there's something else interesting there too I might I might read that in just a second uh, but on the back of the cover the reversion um, is uh, it says Jim Wyatt that's our main character Jim Wyatt had always said that if everything fell apart he didn't want to just survive he didn't want to notice okay when the world did crash his family's home of stone mott all you stone miners out there know what that is and stone miners is what we call people who have read all the books and know about it they're a part of the stone mott community when the world did crash his family's home of stone mott became not only a refuge but a place where it might be possible to start over again and reclaim the american ideal um, so that speaks to you know how he prepared in this book it, it's these books maybe i'll slide this in this this these are our our uh, uh, sponsors of the stonemont series the, the series of books that i wrote to is kind of like a detailed uh, textbook in a novel in a, in a in a great story that explains exactly how to prepare for in detail I, i've never been asked a question that I haven't already answered in detail in these books. So it, 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 it talks about in detail how to prepare for a collapse, how to survive the collapse, and how to um, how to come out the other end, you know, in good shape. If not better shape, because we wouldn't be dealing with all the idiocy that we are now, perhaps. Well, well you know, it depends on what kind of collapse. Um, and yeah, yeah, the how to get them is down there. I always put it down there in the in the information section and a, and a pinned comment. But there's there's something else here that uh, on the back, and uh, it says the death of one society can be the birth of another. It's right on the back here if you can read that. So these these two things kind of come together, and, and I, I want to just talk about that for a minute. No matter what's going on in the world. Um, <laughs> remember when Rush used to say, uh, so if a recession uh, happens, don't participate in it, you know, and, and a lot of people thought that that was a little flip and, and all that, but what he was saying is, there are always ways to deal with things, there are always ways to deal with, um, are you in the sun there, Can I, I don't know if that's, maybe I'll move this just a little bit, sorry. I didn't know, I, th I thought maybe the sun was glaring on you there. Uh, there are always right ways to deal with uh, great challenges, but it's up to you to do it. And uh, like Rush was saying, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a recession, well then you find more ways to make money. Just do it. And every time I, I say something about here, I'll get a couple of comments from people that say, but how can I do that yet? You know, okay. Well, those are, are, are people who won't do it because they won't consider how to do it. And instead of, instead of sitting down and thinking, how can I better my position? They're, they're, they're finding excuses why not to. The, I, I, I can't help them. So, you know, um, so there it is. There are some people who just won't be helped. 
but for the most you know most part most people can find ways to improve their positions that means making more money or or um you know increasing your preparedness and and that's really what this is all about surviving collapses has to do with a couple of things it has to do with being prepared meaning having those things that you're going to need in a in a crashing economy if we have runaway inflation which i mean we're having great inflation here. I won't call it runaway inflation. And we're not at 10,000 percent inflation a year yet, but uh, he yet may be the operable word there. But we're having inflation, and it, it's it's causing some problems for a lot of people. Well, for the people who were prepared and had several years of food stocked up, it's not causing a problem for them. For people who have, you know, some fuel stocked up now, if you've got food stocked up and you're not having to go out and pay today's prices for groceries well then then the increase in fuel prices doesn't hurt you nearly as badly because it all works together it's synergetic synergistic um, so so that's the first thing is is to be prepared of course you know this is a preparedness channel you're here you're interested in preparedness or if you just happen to fall in by mistake please become interested in preparedness it'll help you in the long run and it'll help you today but the other thing is this that in times of great collapse the collapse tends not to be limited to one area it's not limited to to uh, the economy it's not limited to political situations it's not limited uh, it is not limited at all it, it touches every aspect of life and I had made several videos uh, some time ago to where I talked about, in which I talked about a couple of groups of people. Uh, the first is organized crime, both in the, both, both the mafia in Sicily, and I touched on others, the, the Neapolitan um, uh, Gomorrah and, and the greater Italian Andregheta, um, <clears throat> and also the American... Um, Cosa Nostra. And I also talked about the Irish Republican movement, um, the IRA. Um, both of these are, are things with which I'm personally familiar and have the ability to speak on personally. And, and in those, I, I talked about the importance of being able to live under oppression, under an oppressive government. Uh, because there are great lessons in both of those, and I, I guess um, I, I haven't made any of those for a while, but I'm going to start making um, probably some more of those and putting them on Patreon. If you, if you ask, for those of you who aren't on Patreon, you say, well, why do you just put them on Patreon? Why, you know, if, if, they're, if they're important, why won't you put them on YouTube? And the simple answer is this, um, twofold, to be honest. First off, when I put, because these, these are our subjects that many people find very, very interesting. And so they are subjects that people have watched a lot of movies about. And uh, so have been misled on a lot of things. And they come to, so they, they, they think they know when they don't know. And so I will always get comments on YouTube about, um, well, they're expressing themselves and arguing when they really don't know what they're talking about. And then it takes me time to get in there, and I don't have extra time. Um, to get on there and weed those people out and, 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 and all, and in the meantime, you know, take the chance of them misleading other people. And, uh, and so I just, uh, I'm not here to argue. You know, I'm here to share what I know about things and People can either take it or not, but I don't have time to argue with people who don't know what they're talking about. The other thing is, is that if you're really serious about these things and you won't even invest a dollar a month in it, um, I'm, I'm not really here just for entertainment, I'll be real honest. I'm here to inform on certain things that I happen to know about that most people don't know about. And that doesn't make me better, it just makes me different. It means I went down a different road in life than a guy who's a stockbroker or an insurance salesman or a heart surgeon or whatever. And uh, these are things that I know about. 
and um, and putting them on on Patreon kind of kind of controls the the audience, if I can say that. It manages the quality of the argument uh, of the audience. I'm sorry. That doesn't mean that you personally aren't a quality person if you're not over there, but it it does the 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 general quality of the the uh, the Patreon members is different than the overall YouTube audience, and and so it doesn't say anything about you personally that, that if you're not on Patreon, it just means that you should be over there. If if you're one of the ones who really are interested in 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 learning about things and in, in uh, bettering yourself. Um, you should be over there and but if you don't think that you're worth a dollar let me be honest because sometimes I'm just honest but I'm always honest but sometimes I'm a little I'm a little tough on this stuff if you don't think you're worth a dollar a month why should I I mean does that make sense one of the things that so so that's it you know come join i wish you would but there's a lot of good folks that are on on youtube here that aren't with us yet on patreon and i always wonder when i read your comments why aren't they over there because there's so much more over there that they could be getting um but you know that's up to you uh it's it, it's going to be important not just to be prepared for what we think about being prepared for but to be prepared to live under an increasing oppression. What's going to come with this this uh, election this fall? There's no way to know. No matter which go, which way it goes, I would suggest you be ready for greater oppression. And there are certain ways to deal with that. Okay, and it's it's not the the simplistic uh, the ways that so many people think. You have to really. Uh, it's about living a parallel life. That's why they called it the underworld, right? The underworld. Well, it is. It's about creating a, a, a life for yourself that works outside of the restrictive parameters of the official society around you. Those are important things to develop. So I think I'll leave it at that. I'm, I'm going to remain, before I get too much farther into this, I'm going to keep my peace for the rest of my peaceful Saturday morning. And then probably take it into a peaceful Saturday afternoon. Um, but I believe that uh, the collapse is going to be worse than we thought. It's not going to be the kind of collapse that, that, I mean, this is about a CME hitting the earth, but hey, the solar cycles are very active now, aren't they? Uh, we're in solar cycle number 25, and, and uh, we have been hit by more CMEs here recently. They haven't taken down our infrastructure, but they've screwed up some cell service. I've been dropping a lot of calls. I don't know about you. Um, a lot of internet problems we've been having. Um, and it's not our provider. Everybody's around here is having them. Um, so it's not necessarily going to be that collapse, but there is a world collapse coming. And, uh, and I would suggest that you start keeping, if you don't already, start keeping closer track of what's happening in the world. In the world. Because a world collapse will affect you. And it's always better to know what's coming before it gets here so that you can take those mitigating steps to reduce its impact on you because we're going we're going to feel it we're going to feel it so anyway i'll leave it at that i hope you all are having a great saturday rewind if you want to and just drink uh, drink coffee with me <laughs> but remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow and uh, every little thing, every bit of information that we can get, that we can throw into our decision making is going to help us prepare well in order to live well tomorrow. So as again, I say, if you want, uh, you know, uh, if you want a detailed plan on how to do it, plus a darn good story, 
people tell me that they love it. Can you imagine that? The Stonemont series. Available on Amazon in paperback or Kindle or autographed copies from me personally. And that tells you how to do it down there or how to get to us over on Patreon. And that link is down there too. Uh, I hope to see you over there because there's more for you. Okay. All right. Y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.